Uh, when I was uh, very little, I remember, um, for a, must be a short time, I had like a little knife, it's probably like that big or something, like I have a fold out and um, yeah, the casey thing was white and um, it wasn't sharp and you know from my description that it wasn't big. Um, but I guess I still liked it and I guess I probably had a, um, I don't know, sentimental attachment or something to it. I think it was a gift from a grandparent or something. Um, but I guess in another way it made me think about uh, defending myself or something. But in a way that's ridiculous because of course it was small and not sharp and there's no way you could have done anything with it. Be honest. But in another way, I think even with a knife, if you're a weak person as such, you're not going to be able to do defend yourself too well anyway. Um, my brother was quite a uh, a violent person as such when we were younger um, and he worked out a lot and did jujitsu and all that and he was just a lot stronger and he was willing to use um, he was willing to do violent behaviour whereas I don't think even if I was strong and able I would want to I, I don't think I would have it in me to do something violent <laughs> And um, I guess in that respect, I'm no match for such people anyway. Yeah. I don't have that knife anymore. As a viewer to this video, have has a knife ever made you feel comfortable or, or like you could defend yourself and alleviated fears or has it made you feel fearful because they're weapons if you've bought knives when was the first one that you bought that wasn't just as a kitchen thing these are getting very big guns Motorists drawing guns to secure petrol. What if there is no petrol? Then what happens? I'll die. Live free or die. Mm. No Hampshire. <laughs> Are you free? To live free or die. You don't want to. I don't want to die. Five shillings.